step back into the television landscape of 1975, where the series switch took center stage, offering viewers a unique blend of crime and comedy. As we delve into the realm of this classic show, one might wonder, are there any lesser known facts or anecdotes about this TV series that fascinate you? What lies beneath the surface of this well-remembered production, and what hidden gems await discovery? Before we unravel the intriguing aspects of Switch, consider your own connection to the show. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? A moment etched in time when the characters and plot lines left an indelible mark on your personal experiences. The magic of television often transcends the screen, leaving us with memories that endure. Now, let's set the stage for a journey into the random facts that add depth to the narrative of Switch. From behind-the-scenes stories to surprising trivia, these tidbits provide a fresh perspective on a show that has stood the test of time. Whether it's the casting choices, the development of characters, or unexpected plot twists, the richness of Switch extends beyond what meets the eye. As we explore the hidden facets of this 1975 TV series, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to Switch. Your stories are the threads that weave the fabric of nostalgia, creating a tapestry of shared memories. We would love to hear your anecdotes and reflections in the comments below. So, what fascinating facts about Switch resonate with you, and what memories do you hold dear? Share your thoughts, and let's embark on this journey through the television landscape of 1975. Switch, the 1975 TV series, emerged as a captivating blend of crime, comedy, and drama. Created by Glenna Larson, the show follows the exploits of two private investigators, Frank McBride and Pete Ryan, played by Eddie Albert and Robert Wagner, respectively. What sets Switch apart is its unique premise McBride, a retired bunko cop, and Ryan, a stylish former con artist, run a detective agency specializing in recovering stolen property. The chemistry between the two leads is palpable, and their dynamic adds a layer of humor and intrigue to the narrative. The show's narrative balance between crime solving and comedic banter showcases Larson's storytelling prowess. The characters of Mac Bride and Ryan became iconic solidifying their places in the pantheon of TV detective duos. The suave and sophisticated Ryan with his criminal past complements Mac Bride's seasoned law enforcement background. The series' style resonated with audiences, blending elements of classic detective dramas with a lighthearted touch, creating a unique tone that set it apart from its contemporaries. Switch left an indelible mark on popular culture, influencing subsequent detective shows by demonstrating the audience's appetite for charismatic, unconventional crime-solving duos. The series' impact extended beyond its initial run, becoming a touchstone for those seeking a perfect blend of crime and comedy in their television experience. With its memorable characters, engaging storytelling, and distinctive style, Switch remains a noteworthy gem in the landscape of 1970s television, standing as a testament to the creative ingenuity of its time. Robert Wagner, renowned for his role as Pete Ryan in Switch, brought not only his acting prowess, but also a connection to Hollywood royalty. Married to Natalie Wood in real life, Wagner's off-screen life added a layer of intrigue to his on-screen character. Interestingly, as the show neared cancellation, Wood made a brief appearance in a small scene. This real-life connection and the subtle nod to Wood's involvement during a critical juncture in the series offer fans a unique perspective on the dynamics behind the scenes. Such intertwining of personal lives with the show's narrative can be a fascinating aspect for viewers, adding a touch of reality to the fictional world of Switch. Premiering on Tuesday, September 9, 1975, on CBS at 10 p.m. EDT, 9 p.m. PDT, Switch swiftly carved its niche in the television landscape. This crime comedy drama series, created by Glenna Larson, featured a distinctive theme. Larson, the first season executive producer, penned the theme for most episodes, maintaining an uncredited yet pivotal role in setting the show's tone. Lasting three seasons, Switch faced the fate of cancellation in 1978, part of a cohort that included notable names like Columbo and Kajak. The show's longevity placed it among the few surviving series, enduring for a commendable period. Interestingly, Switch altered its theme song thrice, with Stu Phillips' initial composition quickly replaced by Ed Sodder's offering, which only surfaced once. 
Larson's theme, uncredited yet synonymous with the show, endured as the series' sonic identity. The series not only showcased the dynamic partnership between private investigators Frank McBride and Pete Ryan, but also navigated the intricate web of theme song changes, offering viewers a distinctive auditory experience. As Switch concludes its run, it remains a testament to the creative choices and adaptations that mark the evolution of a television series. In the first season of Switch, the show started as a detective series. However, about midway through the second season, it took a turn towards a more serious and traditional crime drama. This shift in tone marked a significant evolution in the series, departing from its initial blend of crime, comedy, and drama. The change reflected the dynamic nature of storytelling in Switch. As the series progressed, it faced the inevitable fate of cancellation after three seasons. The last episode aired on July 9, 1978, bringing an end to the exploits of private investigators Frank McBride and Pete Ryan. Interestingly, in August of 1979, Robert Wagner, who played Pete Ryan, returned to television in the pilot movie of Heart to Heart alongside Stephanie Powers and Lionel Stander. This move marked a new chapter for Wagner, transitioning from the conclusion of Switch to a fresh venture in the television landscape. The show's journey from its detective roots to a more serious crime drama, coupled with its ultimate cancellation and the subsequent return of one of its lead actors to television, encapsulates the ebb and flow of Switch's trajectory. These developments contribute to the show's legacy, highlighting the twists and turns that can shape the course of a television series. Long before Robert Wagner and Sharon Bless starred on Switch, both were lifelong Eddie Albert fans since childhood. This unexpected connection added a personal touch to their roles in the 1975 TV series. Wagner, known for his role as Pete Ryan and Gless, who later joined the show as Maggie Philbin, brought a shared admiration for Albert, who played Frank McBride. This commonality among the cast members created a unique bond behind the scenes. Wagner and Bless, having been fans of Albert, seamlessly integrated into the series. Wagner's suave portrayal of Pete Ryan and Bless' eventual inclusion as Maggie Philbin added depth to the ensemble cast. It's interesting to note how these actors, initially united by their appreciation for Albert, contributed to the success and dynamics of Switch. This connection sheds light on the camaraderie among the cast, translating into on-screen chemistry that resonated with the audience. The mutual admiration for Albert among the cast members created a foundation for the series, showcasing the importance of interpersonal dynamics and bringing characters to life. This unique behind-the-scenes tidbit adds an extra layer of understanding to the collaborative effort that made Switch a memorable television experience. In the world of Switch, where crime, comedy, and drama intersect, the off-screen connection among the cast members, rooted in their shared admiration for Eddie Albert, serves as an intriguing starting point. It's a testament to the unexpected factors that contribute to the success and cohesion of a television series. As we bid adieu to the time-traveling adventures and enigmatic charm of the 1975 TV series, Switch, let's take a moment to stroll down memory lane. In the captivating world of this vintage gem, every episode unfolds like a well-worn page of nostalgia, leaving an indelible mark on the fabric of our entertainment memories. Whether you're a seasoned fan who eagerly awaited each twist, and turn or a newcomer enchanted by the retro allure, Switch has a unique way of etching itself into the corridors of our recollections. The camaraderie between Pete Ryan and Mac McClellan, the pulsating energy of the 70 seconds backdrop, and the seamless blend of mystery and humor all conspire to create an unforgettable tapestry that lingers in the heart. Now, dear viewer, it's your turn to share the spotlight. What are your fondest memories of Switch? Did a particular episode transport you to a different era? Or perhaps you found a personal connection with the characters that resonates even today? We invite you to open the door to your nostalgia vault and share your thoughts. Your stories weave the rich tapestry of collective appreciation for this timeless series. In the comments below, let the virtual fireplace of shared memories burn bright. Share your reflections, anecdotes, and favorite moments from Switch. Engage with fellow enthusiasts and let the conversation unfold like a script yet to be written. A collective celebration of the magic that television, at its best, brings into our lives. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and television. 
Your passion and insights breathe life into the legacy of Switch, making it more than just a show. It becomes a shared experience that transcends the screen. Until our paths cross again in the realms of nostalgia and shared memories, thank you for your time and interest.